united can never be defeated. Do you believe that? Meet Joe Odumaki, a woman who never does anything by half. Her personal take on life is anything worth doing is worth doing well. Or in more contemporary parlance, go hard or go home. It takes passion, commitments, determination. And there are a lot of hurdles. If one is not determined, the one will drop by the wayside. Born in Zaria Kaduna in 1966, all she ever wanted was to serve in the seminary as a nun. My parents were staunch Catholic. I so much love God. It was then that I picked up a form. Mom saw me because my dad was in the UK. My dad then returned after about two or three months and then said, young girl, you still want to be a nun? I said, yes, dad. He said, not only will I disown you, but I'll print your obituary that you are dead. So when people see you, they think you are spirit, they start running. The next day, I just told my dad, I said, well, I want to face my education. I don't know God wants to be a nun. And it was good news for him. So he took me to Kwara State Polytechnic. But an uncompromising father and a chance happening upon a quote by Martin Luther King Jr. put paid to that and set her on another path in life. At the university, a lecturer discovered that somebody scored very high marks in her tests. Measured my matriculation number, I went to see her. So she gave me one book to read, I read it. One quotation changed my life. And that is the one uh, to biography of Martin Luther King that says, our lives begin to end. The day will become silent about things that matter. And that was how that quotation wired up, wired me up. And I said, little dictatorship, I see injustice. So I felt that I could do a lot more if, I, if I'm engaged in this struggle. As a women's rights activist and president of the Women Rise for Change initiative and the Campaign for Democracy, there's no room for selfishness in the life that she leads. But even she will tell you that nothing should make a woman compromise on the home front. Marriage is not competition, but to complement each other. My mom has told me that if I fail in one, I can fail in all. When a child is growing, the parents are the first role model. Some of the failures we have seen, some parents are career women, they don't have time for their children, they leave them at the mercy of house helps, they don't even know when the, uh, the gang, the, the group, I mean the people, they leave friends, they have some gangs, parents don't even know their uh, children. Seeing how my parents have made me who I am, I'll be a failure if I don't really positively affect my immediate environment. So balancing is very, very important. For being a loud voice and a ray of hope for the helpless, she's had to pay her price. But the restoration of voice to the voiceless and every battle won has been more than enough consolation. And the world has been watching, even Michelle Obama when she was floaters. I set out doing all what I'm doing, not knowing anyone is taking special notes. But before I knew it, I started having awards upon awards upon awards. As I speak today, I have uh, 597 awards. And uh, so 2013, I just got a mail. I should proceed the following day to the US Embassy with my passport. And I got there, congratulated me that I won international Woman of Courage Award. But I don't need to tell anyone. When I get to Washington, D.C., I'll be told. So getting there on March 8th, I got in to where I was to receive the award. And the U.S. Secretary of State, the then U.S. Secretary of State, John Kerry, came and came in with the then First Lady of the United States of America, Michelle Obama. It was one of the high points of my life. During the past 20 years in Nigeria, Dr. Josephine Odumakin 
has handled more than 2,000 cases of government security agencies violating women's rights. These cases include everything from negligence to assault and killings. For exceptional courage, strength, and leadership in tirelessly advocating for human rights, social justice, and women's equality and advancement in Nigeria, Dr. Josephine Odumakin is a woman of courage. We are not all meant to change the world, but you never know until you try. And if Joe Odumaki does not inspire to go out there and serve humanity, we don't know what will. Revolution! Women arise! Revolution! Revolution! Women arise! So I just found out that even having to keep away from some of the activities happening for the fear of being killed, that is not worth it. One should give all that one has to the struggle. So any, anywhere that I find myself in the field of activism, I ensure that I put in my best, and that's the passion. I will say it. We go